So Don Chamberlain, Great Wave Engineering here again. Time to take another look, actually past the time probably, to take another look at the uh, test filters, the Fluval 406s. We can see that uh, with summer here, or at least coming here pretty quick, uh, the warmer months, we're getting a fair bit of algae in the uh, QT, in the quarantine tank, and some of that's showing up here in the filters. So we'll tear into these rascals and see what they look like inside. So I think it was definitely past time to clean these babies out. Here we see the initial course filter is pretty, pretty funky. Pretty uniform from one to the other. So looks like they're both seeing the same kind of stuff. Here we can see our media is getting a fair bit of stuff on the surface, which is not exactly what we want. And before we tear apart the mechanical filters, I don't think we can tell much difference from the top of the fine foam. Okay, this unit we have the uh, ceramic balls down there and once again, it looks like they did a fairly good job of trapping some of the stuff. This side you can see pretty clean down there, which uh, I'd rather not see. We'd rather see that just full of all kinds of stuff. I can't really tell much difference between the two. They both look like they're plenty dirty. So this is kind of interesting. Well, the end result, that is to say, the amount of dirt that I see up in the, the biohome looks about the same to me from one filter to the other. The way they go about their filtration is considerably different, it seems like. In this case, we had two sort of medium foams. I think they're both 20 cores per inch layered together, and then we had two fine foams on top of that and as you can see the very first fine foam captured quite a bit of stuff on its uh, lower surface wasn't a whole lot getting through to the next foam although there's plenty of crap on the on the fine foam but most interesting the, uh, the tray is almost pristine no dirt down there at all, which is strange when we look over here. So here we see the coarse foam. Clearly caught a lot of stuff. Actually, you probably can't see it as well in the picture as I can here in the flesh. I'm sorry, that was the medium foam. This is the coarse foam. They're both pretty dirty, I'd say about the same. And actually the fine foam as well. So that whole stack pretty well uniformly filthy. And then when we look here, we can see, lo and behold, you can almost tell where the hollows were, the convolutions, the open spots. It left a lot of stuff behind there. So I would say that's a good thing. But again, as I say, the end result doesn't look like it's a whole lot different. And once again, you may not be able to tell from the video but the uh, amount of crud that's on the biohome doesn't look any different from one side from one filter to the other so so i just about have to conclude that it doesn't make a whole lot of difference what you have for mechanical filtration i mean within reason whether it's convoluted foam or solid foam, as long as you have good foam, good good filter foam. And I think that's the case in both cases here. So we're going to continue this series of tests 
mainly now just to see if we can get a feel for how long this foam lasts, if there's any difference between one and the other. And uh, we'll just keep on reporting that. I'm hoping they're both going to last, probably outlast me. It'd be great. We'll see. So, finally getting some payoff for all this testing. We were just talking about how uh, everything looked like it was working pretty well, lasting pretty well, and then we got these coarse convoluted foams cleaned up, and lo and behold, they don't look so great, actually. You can see, it's pretty hard to see here, the black foam, but here you can see this one. Uh, the tip of the convolution is pretty much gone, and it looks like a small bomb went off in there. And actually, if you could see these in the flesh, up close and personal, you'd see that all the tips are pretty well worn away. The, uh, the medium foam looks fine, convoluted foam, but these don't look so good there. Again, hopefully you can see that, that uh, shape of that tip, uh, which was a nice sort of sinusoidal uh, shape originally, has been chopped off pretty well. I'm guessing those little bacteria that are chomping on the ammonia, or her cousins, Somebody in there must like this polyethylene foam pretty good. And since this coarse one probably has the thinnest uh, membrane there, uh, it's beginning to show some pretty ragged results. Actually, I had a report some time ago from a customer who had observed this. It turns out he had his in upside down. So the flow, I thought, was what was tearing the tips of those off because <clears throat> it stands to reason that those tips are only held there by a very thin membrane of foam and it wouldn't take too much to pull them off but uh, this doesn't look good and particularly when we compare that with and that was kind of the whole point of, of doing this series of tests when we compare it with this solid piece of, of admittedly a medium foam uh, it looks practically brand new, so very, very interesting. We'll take another look here in a month or so and see if this has continued. So this very well, I mean, this is what I was all about. I wanted to see whether I wanted to continue with this convoluted foam or possibly change over to the port foam, and I may well do that in the future. But for right now, we'll let her ride for a little while and uh, and see what we see and i'd be interested anybody who's watching this who's using our foam if you've seen similar results you know please let us know by commenting uh, or even if you're not using our foam let us know what you think by commenting i'm glad to uh, to get your opinions on this I don't recall if I've shown this before, but this is how I clean up the uh, biohome. These handy little uh, baskets, which are pretty readily available, are for, I think, primarily for putting, uh, planting aquatic plants, uh, make a real nice little uh, basket to hold the media while you rinse it off quickly. And uh, fortunately, that doesn't take very long. Uh, and they look as good as new. So there, that didn't take long. <laughs> Actually, it did. I didn't pay too much attention to the time, but I think I started around 2.30, and it's coming up on 4 now. So I can certainly see why you wouldn't want to do this any more often than necessary. But I hope, if you have such a filter, that you're doing this at least once a month, even though it might be a bit of a pain. It's kind of interesting, the Endless River filters on my koi pond, I flush those once a week, and then once a month I pull the mechanical uh, modules and the biological modules out, rinse everything out real nice so it's just like a new filter, and I'm guessing that whole thing maybe takes 15-20 minutes, certainly nothing quite like this. So, uh, a bit of a pain, but it's got to be worth it. 
So we'll get these babies back in operation. We'll see what that media looks like in another month or so. And again, if you have any comments about that, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Happy fish keeping.